Yo, what's going on guys? It's Kojimo here back with another video. Today, I'm going to walk you through the best settings that you can be using in Counter-Strike 2. I'm going to show you some stuff that I use personally so that you can understand some of the settings that will take you to the next level inside of this game. At the end of the day, settings are going to be totally up to preference though. So I just want to give you some insight as to what I use and some things that you can find some success with. But before we get into that, I do have a message to give you. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Skins Monkey. They are one of the greatest and easiest to use CS2 trading sites out there. You can swap out the skins you do not like for brand new ones that are so much more fresh. Even skins that are trade lock can be secured by adding them to your backpack. The greatest thing about the site is that you can buy skins for so much cheaper with a 35% deposit bonus when you use my code, Kojo. Make sure to check out the freebie section where you can get a free skin just by completing tasks. On top of the bonuses, you also get a $5 bonus when clicking the link in the description. All right, so let's go ahead and walk through some of these in-game settings that I'm using. I think that this is very good so that you guys can understand some of the things that pros use and i'm not going to talk about every specific setting and everything but this will just be something that you can look back on and kind of reference compared to your settings so we're just going to go left to right here we're going to start in video and in the main video settings i'm just walking through some stuff uh background doesn't matter item inspect doesn't matter brightness you can have this on pretty much anything you want i would not recommend playing too low for me i just keep it in like the range of like 100 to one you know 120 sometimes you don't want it to be too bright but you know anywhere just in here it literally doesn't matter just brightness is gonna matter you know and it's gonna be different depending on what monitor you're using and everything like that now resolution i would recommend playing on 4x3 or 16x9 16x10 is great but for those of you that are new out there definitely just stick to native right native is going to be your key to success your key to winning don't switch off of it if you're already playing on 4x3 i recommend 1280x960 1280x1024 and 1024x768 now i do play on stretched i don't play a black bar so it's very nice make sure your display mode is always in full screen and you're playing on the highest hertz possible um and if possible disable laptop power saving now let's go to advanced video settings uh boost player contest i have that enabled vsync disabled i have this on custom uh, i have this on 4x msaa high i think uh, for shadows you want to have high or very high or medium you never want low because i think that if you have it on low you're not going to be able to see uh certain shadows which are going to be a competitive advantage that you, you need to see shadows right model texture detail i have this on low texture filtering i have that on bilinear shader low particle low ambient inclusion high and then high dynamic range i have this on performance and then the super resolution i would always keep this on disabled oh, outside of it i think it looks awful it makes the game look really bad and nvidia reflex low latency mode i have that disabled now a lot of these settings guys pros are going to have a lot of different things right monacy is going to have this on you know eight or whatever while i was going to have it on four everyone plays on different video settings and stuff like this don't get into your head about this kind of stuff it's the worst thing that you can do and the hud positioning that's just whatever now your volume uh it's just, again that's just going to be depending you need to hear stuff though right you just got to be able to hear i play with mine on this headset um on 74 75 right it's just going to depend on your headset make sure you click the right sound device uh, i have mine on crisp zero percent perspective correction no push to talk um default device a lot of this is going to be specific to you um, i'll let you look through some of these other things here hear my own voice absolutely not play game when so you could have this on yes but i think it's annoying sometimes when people are screaming in the mic and you're trying to tap out so i don't like it um as far as your music volume this does matter uh if you're a casual then just keep your main music uh however high you want for me i am streaming and i don't want my stuff to get copyrighted so i have all this on low um round end i do have this on i i think you can play with it off but i kind of like music sometimes it gives me in the flow of things mvp i like hearing the mvp music again if you're going full try hard put all these on zero um except 10 second warning you should have this on because it gives you that audio cue i know i know the bomb makes a noise too but some music kits literally tell you right when that 10 seconds is and it's such a good advantage um the rest of these you can just copy down there but let's go ahead and look at the game settings now um let's talk about some of these things if you're new to the game guys flip this on yes enable developer console it's going to allow you to pull up the console and change things like your crosshair um you know the sv underscore whatever like you, you can do a lot of things with that change your rate i don't know everything right make your binds in there max acceptable ping i would have this no higher than like 125 i'd keep it there it's going to tell you the servers that you're pinging to um just keep it within your region 
And I just have some of these. I don't even know if I've looked at some of these because they're just not that important. Here's my HUD settings, I guess. Um, team settings. Uh, I like to see the equipment and stuff. I like to see colors, not letters. Um, this stuff doesn't really matter. Player pings. If this starts to get annoying, just do a display without sound. But I like hearing the sound. Be enemy team, whatever. All this stuff doesn't really matter. I put allow animated avatars as no because I think it's distracting. I really do. So I, if you have the avatars at the top of your screen, definitely put that setting on because it'll get way too distracting. If you don't have that on, spectator stuff doesn't matter. Okay, item stuff now. Um, graffiti, whatever. You should have delay sniper rifle unscope after shot on no and auto resume on yes. Trust me, that's what you want. The detach, I have it disabled because I there's just no reason for me to ever detach the silencers really. I get I get there is some certain situations and stuff, but I think that I just accidentally disable it or take it off too much and it's just not worth it for me. So I just don't even use that as part of my game. Um, but that, that doesn't matter. You can have that on or off, doesn't matter. View model stuff, it's gonna matter depending on what you wanna play on. First person tracers, I do have these enabled. I think that it's helpful to see them. I can't play with them without them now. On CSGO, I played without them, but now I can't. Um, always show inventory, yes. Whatever, whatever. A lot of these don't really matter. Um, radar stuff doesn't matter. And then your crosshair. I'll leave a code to my crosshair in the description of the video, but essentially this is it right here. Um, again, that's gonna be all you. And then this last part doesn't really matter. All that stuff does not matter now let's go and look at the last tab here guys hold on we're gonna go through this but make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and remember i'm live every single weekday so come watch me play live so reverse mouse off duck mode hold hold whatever my sensitivity is 2.0 on 400 dpi i have a range of 800 dpi i've made videos on sensitivity i think that sticking around 800 edpi is the way to go Here's some of my key bindings. I'm unique. I use cap locks to walk. I use mouse wheel down to jump, duck with left shift, blah, blah, blah. All this stuff is like whatever you want. You can pause the video if you're curious about any specific one of these. Um, just make sure you bind your grenade to a specific key because if you don't, you're just going to be hurting yourself, right? Make sure you have your console uh, enabled. I have mine with the tilde key. And yeah, there's nothing crazy, guys. But hopefully this video gave you a little bit of insight as to what settings you should be playing on in the professional scene. Um, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Like I said, there's pros that play on all different types of stuff. Literally, you can any setting that's there, there is, there's probably a pro playing on it, right? Um, but yeah, go ahead and check out my videos on console commands. There's lots of good stuff in there too. Um, and let me know what kind of content you guys would like to see from me going forward. Like I said, I'm live every single weekday on Twitch. Definitely don't miss that out. It's a great time over there. Play live. And I'm currently ranked on the top 10 of the face of leaderboard. So we're out there. We're trying to go as high as we can and make it one day. So thank you guys so much. Sorry for the low energy. I just woke up today. Been feeling a little bit down, but we're grinding every single day. You guys know how it is. And I'm so excited for the future. There's lots of good stuff out there for us. So let's keep working hard and grinding. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Peace out. Peace out.